Olivia Rodrigo has sent in her support for BTS after the release of their new single, Permission to Dance. Permission to Dance was released very recently and is set to break many records. The music video got over 50 million views in its first 12 hours and has been met with huge praise from fans. One of the people who praised the video was Olivia Rodrigo, who left a comment on Instagram saying the video is sick. Olivia was recently involved in a controversy with BTS. This is because a few weeks back, her or her team made a YouTube advert promoting her song Good For You. The advert said that Good For You is the song that beat BTS. This was criticized by many fans saying it's very competitive. A lot of people said there was no need for the advert to mention BTS at all. With Olivia's new comment, it seems that everything that has happened has been buried in the past and she is again publicly supporting BTS. Olivia has also previously stated that she's a fan of Blackpink. Despite being involved in many huge chart battles, Butter so far has ended up spending six weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. In other BTS news, BTS have been accused of cheating and using dirty tactics to get to number one in the US. BTS are making a lot of headlines across the world right now. This is because Butter has spent its sixth week at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. In its last week at number one, Butter sold approximately 128,000 digital downloads. This is a 15% increase over last week. BTS promoted the song by releasing a new single cover version of the track that was released on June 24th. This is the sixth digital version of Butter available to purchase. There is an instrumental and free remix is titled Hotter, Cooler and Sweeter. Butter is also the first song to sell more than 100,000 copies in each of its first five weeks since Ed Sheeran's Shape of You, which did this in 2017. Many critics have criticized BTS this week, including critic Mark Grondin, who recently got a lot of backlash from the BTS army this week for a video posted about the Billboard charts. Mark made a point of talking about the massive digital sales of Butter, which he said makes the song's chart success inorganic. He dissed BTS's chart success and said, we're really now at the point to prop up a band's popularity to the general public, that the label has convinced fans to buy multiple copies of the exact same song? I don't know. To me, it's just starting to seem a little sad. After getting a lot of backlash from the BTS army, Mark posted a series of tweets about BTS. In his tweets, he said, So this episode is getting mass disliked by the BTS stands because I simply called out how they're bending or arguably breaking the industry standards for ISRC codes to bolt by butter multiple times. I want to expand on this because I find this a little fascinating. First off, they're allowed to do it and spend their own money to do so. Have to respect the hustle, right? Well, no, you're buying literally the same song multiple times, not even a remix, and you're doing so to maintain presence on the Billboard charts. I find this deeply amusing because it places so much weight on the Hot 100, a deeply broken system that has gaping flaws since its inception, but is still held up to a supreme caliber of popularity when there are gulfs in the chart's history when it was broken. It's also a well-worn industry tactic to drive up sales across the industry. You get a flash of early sales, send the song surging in public, and ergo, it must be popular, even if it's just a quick stun. This is BTS's fifth week of it, and the secret truth is that Billboard has no interest in fixing it. They want stand traffic, because it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy of recursive hype. What will happen is that other labels will put pressure on Columbia to stop, or they will start doing it too. A lot of news articles and online posts about BTS's Butter number 1 have gone viral online. It's been the topic of discussion for the past six weeks straight. Many people agree with that BTS should not encourage their fans to mass purchase a song, and others say that a sale is a sale, and as long as people are buying the song, then it's completely Fair. For this video's comment question, do you forgive Olivia for making the shady advert about BTS? Was she wrong to do that? Before you go, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for daily news updates on BTS. Thanks so much for watching.